They need to know that our city has some very serious challenges ahead financially in terms of infrastructure, crime. Those are our two main ones. We're underfunded in infrastructure and crime just seems to be getting out of hand. So we're going to have to get creative and use existing resources very wisely, look for partnerships because it can't all come out of taxation. We're going to have to do things a little bit differently. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Perfect. How are you? All right, sir. They need to know that uh, voting has started. Uh, I hope you have you made up your minds. I can tell you that I'm going to work hard. I'm passionate about the city. I live here. My family lives here. You've been good to me, and I want to give back to you. So vote for Old Roberto on October 22nd or early if you get a chance. Thanks, James. Have a good day. Hello. Marty, what do the voters need to know for that day's legend? Uh, I don't know. I think we need new business here. New business. New business. Lots of it, and I think we have to aggressively go out and get it. Not wait for it to come here. Thank you. Diane, we're at the Moose Hall. What do the voters need to know in the at-large race? Yes. What do you need the voters to know? Uh, first of all, that uh, the, uh, the detoxification center, we need one outside of, uh, like on the river road, because here, the, uh, the, uh, those who uh, receive help in the detoxification center, they go back, because there's, they're right here in the city, so they go back to the old environment, so that's not good. So they need to have a place on the river road, uh, detoxification center, uh, and they can be helped, the, the homeless too, and uh, you know, personal development and that. And then we can, uh, they can have a makeover and we can find a place uh, for them to live and to have a job uh, in, in the smaller cities around yeah. for two years. Okay. Tim Sterling, what do voters need to know about your campaign here at the Moose Lodge? Well, so far I think it's successful. I've talked to a lot of people, there's some over 3,500 people. And I really think the community safety has come up as being a really core issue within the city. I think that we need to be able to approach it from, from different perspectives to make sure that we're able to look at that, that high level strategic ability to lower systemic problems like racism and poverty while still being able to provide immediate relief for neighborhoods that are, that are suffering right now from dangerous situations. Thank you. Thank you.